stories of the Wongong are never ending. When a life has been resurrected, eradicated, or rejuvenated here, a new story comes into play. Following the footsteps of the current or old legends, they swerve their cars to the movements of the heroes of the past. A machine that was long gone, its body would be revived. A new bond will be created. A new story unfolds. The process is always like this, and the process is always endless. And that's how Equestria was made. Mm, he. What does that have to do with our agenda of inquiring which body kit best suits your lady? This wouldn't have happened if you didn't see that little girl. Sure, we did follow Tomo during his race with Seiji weeks ago in our own pace, but you had to stop by the Shinkanjo Yokohane branching just because of a little girl. Your wing, although it was small, Warped tremendously. Oh boy. According to Yamazaki. But, but, the lolly! God, you're hopeless when it comes to lollies. Don't get me started on that one. Just, just trust me when I say it's a totally complicated thing. Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, oh, hey there, Takara. Glad of you to come by. I'm still on my break. Hey, Takara. You didn't have any trouble locating the place, did you? Well, I did ask around where it is. I never thought it would be like them Starbucks branches. What are you guys talking about? We were discussing what to do with Hiei's 80. Until he suddenly blurted stuff about ponies and danced around the room. 80? What's that? It's more than just a number, right? Huh? You don't know what an 80 is? There are tons around Tokyo- Give it a rest, Tomo. She ain't like us. She mostly gets a ride on my X8 and just until there. She never even called my car an X8. She prefers it just as a Mazda. She's more fond of American type of cars. Hey, cars is a guy thing, right? So pretty much you'd know more about it than I do. Not true. We also thought cars only go zoom zoom until the time where Tomo was the one who introduced it to us as a deeper sense. And there are heap loads of amazing girl drivers too, like, like, uh, like, uh, Midnight Cinderella Hie. Yeah, her! Oh, and that girl from Osaka who was the hot for Tomo. <laughs> Akane. And whoever says that she has a thing for me, huh? <laughs> you take that back, Kamura! <laughs> Make me. Why, you little girl! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like when you guys are together, you love to talk like this, huh? <laughs> Yeah, it's an everyday thing that we have gotten used to. You'll get used to it when you join up with us more. Say, Ryusen, can you drive me to the Shitoku? Course, sure. Where to? See you on as usual? You come here every night, right? What's so special about the Wangan, as you guys call it? You just roam around the same road every night in circles. Well, how can I put this? The Wangan is a place where I could express myself. A place where I don't need to put on a mask and where I can be with my car. A lot of illiterate people drive here for random reasons, but Based on how I drive and how they drive, I could pinpoint people who are deserving of driving down the Wangan at a pastor face than the ordinary public. Plus, Tomo's the one who introduced it to me and Hiei. The only way I could repay him is by driving here. You know, when you say that, you sound like a Buddhist or a historian. Hey. That's not even half of what this road means to the three of us. Oh. <laughs> Looks like they're out. 
Who? Uh, just some members from the colorless. You're kidding me. Even the foreign members drive here? Hey, it's a public road. Everyone drives here, Takara. Although I said that only a number give high importance to such a road. They all consider the Wangan as their third home, if you say. Their real home as the first, whereas the form as their second. What gives you, Sen? Hold on. We're being challenged. That ST It's one of those drivers that saved you more than You're the newborn jackal, right? Has Midnight Cinderella calls you? Huh? Oh, yeah, I, I guess. Pretty much, yeah, me, the jackal. Yeah, I think that's me. Since you'll be driving alongside Tomo occasionally, I have to at least warn you of some drivers that pose a threat to some of us. There are some who call themselves the 13 Ogre Generals. They were extinct before. Some are just thick-headed and came back into action after hearing the Osaka Endurance Race. As far-fetched as their name may sound, they claim territories here in Shitoku. I don't want their kind to cause arguments and fights, nor do I consider areas with the Shitoku as territories. And since you trot around C1 most of the time, Best be worried of a yellow S13 Sylvia that randomly challenges people. What I can only advise you is that when he's persistent in challenging you, I run him by Ginza. That place is his prime weakness. Especially near the Hamazaki Bashi branching. Or if you want, take him off the Shinkanjo. His S13's gearbox? It's rustic on its highest gear. Use that to your advantage. Ryusen, hurry! He's gaining on you! Is he planning to. <laughs> Pride where it hurts. When we get to the Esakasa straight, I'll begin the attack. Uh, you then? What is up with him? Is he like this in this in battle? Are you looking down on me, Jekyll of C1? Only my Sylvia deserves to run on the inner loop. Who gave you the right to race on my turf? If you're not gonna put up a fight, then I'll end it here and now. <laughs> Get ready, Jackknife! What in the world? You're, you're getting too close! Damn you! It's not all you can do! Block me! <laughs> You're pathetic! Uh, damn Mazda. There's a van on one lane. The outside lane of this corner is the most dangerous of them all. If we take the outside lane together, we'll both understeer it to the exit to the right. The best way is to keep the pressure and hope you understeer more than I do. <laughs> yeah. That's this is a shoot. Check it. <gasps> no way. Uh, on C1? Uh, of all places. Guess he has never heard of what the Jackal can really do. This car looks scary with all those vinyls. But he drives like crap. Nothing more than a pushover. As long as it's C1, I'm invincible. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, oh. I'm sorry about that, Takara. When a race. Seriously. Something takes over me. I can't really express it or understand it completely 
But my group, I think, call it the Jackal. It's even the nickname that other racers here give me. I'm not sure why. Uh, Takara, are you alright? <laughs> eh? Uh, oh. Mm, sorry. I was spacing out. What in the world is this feeling? It's like I'm in part of a movie or something. Something that impressive. The thrill. The adrenaline. Why couldn't I stop it? Right now, I want to hold the wheel of his master. But it's his. I need something to call my own. Say, Ryuzen? Yeah? What is it? It's never too late for me to be part of this London story, right? Everybody has to start somewhere, right? What's on your mind? Do you think you could arrange another meetup with Tomo? Sure. We can meet up with Tomo. But what for? I... I want to have my own London story. Okay. Whoa. You've had your license renewed three months ago, right? Why not? You can have your own wagon car. But what are you going to do with that Civic that you have at home? I'll sell it and I'll find a proper machine for me. I want to... to... I want to race the same way you do. I now understand what you, Tomo, and he are going through. I want to be a part of it as well. I want to ride... No. I want to drive next to you. I understand. I'll arrange a meetup this weekend. With that one single encounter, another match has been lit. A match that would flare up into a new candle. The candle of life. As it melts down, so would everything else around her surroundings. Either lose your soul to the wind of the common world, or lose it to the flames of battle. Another life has been rejuvenated. Truly the power of the Wangan. A new connection begins with the search for the right partner. <laughs>